Yo, what's going on? This is Trev here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of the uh, Street Fighter uh, NECA series, Akuma. So here is Akuma in all of his greatness. I've got him in a uh, sort of a classic uh, boxer pose at the moment, and I'll give you a 360 of him in his... Uh, this is based off of the uh, Street Fighter 4 game, the NECA figures. I'm actually very surprised that they did this guy because, so far at least, they've only done about, uh, uh, I believe it's uh, about six, uh, six or seven characters from uh, from Street Fighter, and luckily uh, NECA did uh, chose to do Akuma. It's probably because they had the mold from uh, Ryu, and well, sort of Ken already. And they just wanted to, you know, it's not that it's not that hard to redo them. All he needs is really, uh, you know, some different uh, hands with the uh, threading around there, and then the uh, the necklace, and then of course a different uh, head sculpt. And I'll give you a good look of his uh, hair there. It's very sweet, very cool, and the gloves, as well as his uniform, basically the same as. Uh, as Ryu, except he's got this really nice, instead of having the black belt, he's got this really nice uh, belt around there, as well as his feet. They have these uh, shoes on there. Very cool, very cool. Just a great, great looking figure. Let me move his hand out of the way so you can get a good look of his face. Awesome sculpt, totally awesome sculpt. And uh, another thing I, I like about these uh, NECA figures is that their uh, their articulation is absolutely uh, absolutely awesome. The uh, sculpting on his arms and all that looks absolutely great. And he doesn't come with uh, too much as far as accessories. He comes with a different set of uh, of uh, hands, which are the uh, open palm hands. So you can make him do uh, like any kind of, uh, you know, like a uh, fireball, uh, blast, attack, that kind of stuff. Whatever moves he does. I never got into Street Fighter 4 much myself, but um, I was huge on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and will be for Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and uh, definitely love this uh, this figure here. So I'll put him next to, i uh, give you a shot of him and uh, Ryu, or sorry, Ryu, I remember I used to, I used to call him Ryu when I was younger, Ryu right now is in a pretty sick pose, pretty sick uh, kicking pose, getting ready to, uh, getting ready to dish out some damage, and he actually stands like this too, I have him stand like this, just like that, you know, ready to throw a roundhouse kick right there. Very cool, very cool. So as far as his articulation goes, his head can move on a, uh, feels like a ball joint. Doesn't go too, too far back. That's about as high as it goes. And then down, of course, and then 360 degrees, side to side. Pretty good. That, of course, keep that down. And the arms, uh, these, these, fig these figures really have a lot of uh, articulation. And uh, the arms can move a lot of different ways. It has this uh, the shoulder joint in here that you can see so that the back of the shoulders will go in and all the way and out down like that type of thing. And then here, of course, it's got a, uh, the ball jointed shoulder. So you get a lot of movement out of that. You can move it back and forward and like you can put his arm all the way back like that, down and forward like that, and then at the bicep, He's got the uh, the bicep swivel right there, and uh, he's got double jointed elbows, so you can bring it way up, like his his arm way up, so that if you want to do like a uh, traditional like boxing stance, you can go ahead and do that, like I had him in a little bit earlier. And then his wrist does have articulation too. And then of course, same on the other side here, waist movement, and he does have inside here. He's got a. Uh, a torso joint that you could move a little bit right there and right there but he's got the uh, 
his uh, gi on, so that uh, that of course hinders the uh, the movement of um, of his torso. So that's that, and then his legs. There, his legs are uh, really poseable. You can get him in some awesome kicking poses, and you can actually balance him to get him to stay like this. Like uh, Ryu, he stays like that, and he stands just like that. I've got him standing here just like that. So you get him in all kinds of uh, different kicking poses. His double jointed knees right there, so his knees go all the way back, completely back, and uh, yeah, way back like that. His feet, he's got a, uh, a joint here. This swivels right there, so he's got like a uh, calf swivel. And then he's got a, uh, a joint right there for his ankle. And finally, a joint on his foot right there. And I think I may have missed this upper leg swivel right here, so you can can take his take his leg and put it into pretty much any kind of pose you want to. And he looks pretty awesome. This is probably one of my favorite characters from Street Fighter, and one of my favorite uh, figures as well from Street Fighter that we'll probably ever get. NECA just does such a good job of making these figures there. They're next to they're next to perfect, these figures. So definitely awesome figure. If you like Akuma, and you want to have a good figure of him, this is probably the best figure, at least in my opinion, for six inch scale, six or seven inch scale, that there probably ever will be. So if if you don't have him and you want to have, you want a good uh, Akuma figure, pick him up. He's he's pretty much the best he's going to be. As far as a score that I would give him. Um, I'd say this figure is probably, hmm, I'd say a nine, a nine for sure, because he's totally awesome. There's really nothing wrong with him. Um, but you know, it's it's hard to give a perfect score, but he's pretty close. So a nine for Akuma. All right. If you got any uh, questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them below. See ya.